Okay, so let's get into some details about the radio. First thing we'll do is uh, we'll take the plastic off of it. Should have left the plastic on it. Okay, so uh, some of these buttons are really small. I know I saw in one video the guy said he didn't like the buttons, and I don't like them either. They're really small. I think they just want you to leave it on. That's why they do stuff like that. I changed the color to blue because it's a little easier to see. Okay, so just to go over some of the basics here first before we get into the details this changes the uh, channel so we got 40 channels yeah. Here's channel 1 and you can go back to 40 or you can scroll all the way up through it Okay, channel 19 is the channel they use on the freeway, and channel 9 is the emergency channel that the uh, police would monitor, police and state patrol. So don't fool around on channel 9 because you can get in trouble there. So that's only for emergencies. So we'll go 19. What's nice is it's got this button here. It's, it's real small, you can barely see it. They, it's in red, so you can't read it either. So That switches between 9 and 19. So you don't have to fool around with this button here. Okay? So it's real easy to use. You just grab the mic, hold it 2 inches from your mouth, press down the button here, and talk. Breaker, breaker. Testing, testing. When you press this down, you'll see it transmit here. So we're transmitting. See here, TR. And then RX means you're receiving. I'm about 20 miles from the freeway, 10 miles, so they can barely hear me way out here. Uh, that static you're hearing, that, that's normal. Uh, what you normally do is See how this skinny button is the on off and volume button. Right? The big button here, that's the squelch. See where it says SQ? Squelch. You usually just turn that up. Turn that up until the static goes away. Okay? So then you only hear the strong signals. When people are talking and their signal is real strong, then you'll pick them up. Now, the bad part is if if somebody's talking and they they're real far away, you're not going to hear them. So it's just a matter of how much static do you want to hear. Okay. They've got this guy here, uh, N B A N L, and there's that's this little square thing here. So there's actually three things off. See how there's nothing here? And then A and L and N B. So it's three different types of uh, reducing the noise. So nothing, it's off. A and L. A and L stands for automatic noise limiter. Okay, so when there's nothing here, the, the automatic noise reduction is off. If we press this once, then we get A and L. And reading from the manual here, it says, when switched to A and L, the automatic noise limiter is activated. This helps reduce noise created by the vehicle's electronics. So when A and L is on, it reduces noise from your vehicle press this again and we get NB ANL and it says when switched to NB ANL mode the RF noise blanker is also activated providing increased noise filtration 
So it also reduces RF noise. Yep. Okay, now along with that that squelch, they also have this RF gain. That that kind of works the same as a squelch, kinda. What that does is it increases the signal that I'm receiving. So reading from the manual, the RF gain is used to optimize reception in strong or weak signal areas. Rotate the RF gain knob counterclockwise to reduce gain in strong signal areas. In weak signal areas, turn clockwise to increase gain. So like I'm real far away from the freeway, so I've got this turned up the max. I can hear their signal farther away. I'm increasing the signal coming in. Dynamic. The manual says this controls the microphone sensitivity. Outgoing audio level. Initially set fully clockwise. Set this button on full. So the maximum voice volume is available. Dynamic may have to be reduced in some conditions. So if someone says, hey, you're coming over way too loud, well then you would turn this button down some. Okay, so that's like the strength of the mic. How loud is your microphone? Okay, so just to read through that again, the dynamic. This controls the microphone sensitivity. Okay, when you when you talk into this, you know how sensitive is that mic? The outgoing audio level. You know? If you talk real soft, you might always want to turn your dynamite up. If you're a real loud talker, then you might want to turn that down. And then it says initially set fully clockwise so the maximum voice volume is available and then it says dynamic may have to be reduced in some conditions okay so Normally, nine times out of ten, you know, for most of us, we have this on 19. Okay, now, inside here, there's a menu. See, this is the button we use to scroll our menu. Okay. This number here, that just shows you frequency of channel 19. See, if we change to 20, there's the frequency of channel 20, and so on. That's nothing you really have to worry about. We're in regular CB mode. If we press this button once, just push in. Okay, now we've got our menu here. And that little arrow shows us which feature we're working with. So they're only showing us one, two, three features, but there's actually like a list of like ten, ten different things. So we go, there's one, two, three, there's four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, and then 13 would be to exit the menu mode. So if we press this button here, we're saying, okay, select the exit button. We came out of the menu and we went back into the CB mode. Okay, so we'll go back into, and let's see, if we go back, 
See, we, we can't go back on, on this, so it won't let us scroll back. We always have to go down. So here's the display colors here. If I want to go in there and change the colors, press here. Okay, so now it's saying set the color. This is kind of confusing because that little arrow jumped right down to the exit. But while that's blinking there, if I change this, see we have the different colors here. So just looking at my camera here, orange seems to come over best. See, there's red. I can barely read the red in the camera. There's green. Green comes in real faint. Blue, I can kind of see blue. So I might have to do this video again, but I'll do it in. I'll, I'll do it in the amber they call it, or, or orange. Color of your blinkers. That color seems to come over best here. Okay, so I think I'll leave it there. Scan. It just starts scanning all of the channels because I haven't set none. That could come in handy if you're looking for someone to talk to. You know, it's just looking for a signal. Dim button. Just between like day and night, at night time, you might want to dim this so as you're driving down the road, it's not real bright. Right now we're in CB mode. That's this. We can click this button, and now we're listening to the weather. Uh, they're not real clear in the manual what's going on here, but on my weather radio in the house, I can tune in to, or I can listen to different weather emergency stations in different cities. Like one's in Cleveland, one in Pittsburgh, one in Buffalo, in my area. So, what they say is this one's got 10, so it's probably scanning all the ones that it can reach. And it seems like... Uh, The one that I can hear is on three. Okay, and then here we're in PA mode. Okay, so let's go ahead and try out the PA. I'll turn on the PA here. That's this button. You see where it says CB, weather, or PA. These buttons couldn't get any smaller, but they fit everything on the screen, so I'll go ahead and switch that to PA. So you can see now we're in PA mode. Now I'm just talking here. They can't hear us in here because I have to I have to press down that button and then talk into the mic. So I'll go outside and set up the camera outside and we'll see what it sounds like through the camera. See now, if you watch the install video, you can see I've got the I've got the speaker set in there. So I'll set you up right here.
Okay, so that was kind of cool. This button here controlled the volume of the speaker outside while using the PA. If I had it all the way down here, it was off. And if I turned this halfway up, it was like a medium. If I turned it real loud, then the outside mic started to uh, scream, it started to squeak. Okay. Okay, so then we just press this button again, and we go back into CB mode. So I think we're going to call our day there. Okay, see ya.